Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's Bendy and the Ink Machine video, we are looking at a brand new secret which launched with Bendy Chapter 5. Now, it's only just been discovered, and it was discovered by a group of people on Reddit who were part of a Bendy Discord group, and one of those people has very kindly given me a save file so that I can actually show you this secret in a video today. Now, she's on Twitter, and her name is Some Random Gal. I'll leave a link to her Twitter below. Also, I want to give a shout out to Rock Snotch, who uh, came up with the original video. He was the first person to post a video on uh, YouTube about this secret and this video was the video I was linked to in order to first discover it so shout out to Rocksnotch as well I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel and the video in the link below now what we're gonna do in this video today guys is I'm just gonna react to finding the secret basically I'm going to give my thoughts on it as I play I'm also gonna tell you quickly how to get this secret for yourself if you uh, do want to try and get it it is I will warn you very difficult to get however you have to go through the entire of Bendy and the Ink Machine without dying once, which is already very hard. But on top of that, you also have to unlock the secret visions Henry has in chapters 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, in order to do this, guys, in chapter 2, you have to crush the secret miner searcher that you come across with the crate. Now, I've shown you how to do this in a previous video. The next one you have to do, you actually have to kill the giant searcher in chapter 3 without dying, of course, and you'll get a small vision after that. And then next in chapter 4, if you return to the research and maintenance department at a key point during the level you'll be able to pick up all these open cans of bacon soup which you can then use as a weapon to take down both Bertram Piedmont and Brute Boris at the end of a level. Now if you do all that without dying you will then get to chapter 5 guys which is where I'm going to show you how to do the rest of this achievement. So sit back, relax and let's finally find out what lies beneath that trapdoor in Bendy chapter 1. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is complete this section now we're in chapter 5 with all of the uh, Butcher Gang members. So we're going to have to sort of go around here, hoping we don't get spotted by them, which is always an annoying section I thought. Like this section sort of really frustrated me when I first played the game, this sort of stealth section. But we've got to go through it today in order to unlock this secret. Okay guys, so now what we're trying to do is aggro all of these Butcher Gang members because basically what we want them to do is follow us all out, all three of them at once, so that we can get Bendy to take them down all at once and then there won't be any danger of them killing us as we're running around here. Also, I think that is one of the criteria to progress is to get Bendy to kill these guys. So let's see if we can get more to chase us and get Bendy to take them down. Okay guys, so we're in the main hall now. Hopefully I don't die. I need to basically put the ink in here, start the machine going, and now escape from the Butcher Gang members. Bendy will show up any second. Here he is, right on time, like we like. We're gonna get in here. He's killed the Butcher Gang members so we can get back out, because he never shows up here. He just sort of spawns his little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, ink vines or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call them. Now what we need to do, guys, is go and get some more ink, rebuild this machine, then we can drain the corridor, of course, and access the secret weapon in this area that we're currently in here. Okay, guys, now we've drained the vault, we can head back and find the secret weapon, which should be there now, which is a scythe-looking weapon from the Kindly Beast's upcoming game that they've sort of shown character art for before. I'll put an image up on the screen at the moment as I'm running around. So we need to just go and find the room, and this room like I remember seeing it and thinking there must be a secret in this room because it just looked like a room that should hold a secret uh, there was just like an open exposed wall and it just seemed very odd here it is see this seemed very odd to be here without a secret it's kind of like the place in chapter 4 where we got the valve handle either way you can see the weapon there guys we'll have a look at it here before we pick it up it's obviously a scythe and I believe when I pick this up, we're going to have to fight some searchers. One of which is Sammy's sort of reanimated form. He's come back as a searcher. So uh, let's pick that up now. Here we go. Let's uh, ah, get these guys. There we go. It's quite a powerful weapon, actually. It's got a new sound to it as well. Maybe this is a sneak peek at what the Meatly's follow-up game is going to be like. Imagine if it's some kind of Dark Souls-inspired game. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, but as you can see, it's got the same sort of artwork and stuff to it uh, on the weapon as the rest of the game. So obviously, it looks like if this is truly taken from their upcoming game, it's going to retain that sort of uh, very iconic art style the Meatly Games has going for it. Or I should say, the Kindly Beast now, as they've changed their name, of course. Now, if we go in the office of Joey Drew here, we are going to encounter, here we go, Sammy Lawrence as a searcher. He's come back. Sorry, Sam, we're going to have to kill you now. 
Oh, but he's very strong, so maybe I should back off a little bit. Oh, there we go. And we have now broken our weapon. But we've taken down Sammy once and for all, guys, and we've had the final glitch in the game, the final vision. So now we've completed this area, guys, we've done everything we can do in Chapter 5, so all we have to do is complete the rest of the chapter without dying, and then go back to Chapter 1, and hopefully the trapdoor will be open and the secret unlocked. Alright guys, we're back in Chapter 1 of the game, we've just continued from where we finished on our Chapter 5 save. So now what should happen is we should be able to go through uh, the intro of this chapter, basically raise up the ink machine, and then go through this door here, and inside this door, of course down the stairs, there is a blocked off stairway which went down to a trapdoor, and we've never been able to go through that before. Now we should be able to go through it now, this because of all the secrets have unlocked throughout the game. But let's uh, raise up the ink machine and see what happens. Let's see what you're hiding down there, old friend. Let's see what you're hiding down there indeed. In a minute we'll go down, and the door should open and reveal the secret we've all been waiting to find out. Okay guys, so back we go. Let's see if this secret's unlocked. So the door is open, as usual. Let's go down the stairs, and hopefully the planks would have gone, blocking the way, and the trap door will now be open. And there we go, guys. It is uh, like magic now open, all the planks have gone, and we are about to go into the unknown. Now, I want to say once more, thank you very much to some random gal uh, for giving me the save file to be able to complete this for myself. I didn't go through the entire game unlocking it uh, without cheating, I'm afraid, because that would be very, very hard. And frustrating if you make one mistake you basically don't get this unlockable and since I don't use hacks obviously I just wanted to uh, to show you guys what this was all about so thank you very much to her for giving me the save file with that said guys let's head on down and see what lies below the trap door it says danger keep out so I hope it's safe down there <laughs> I actually know what's down here. I saw a video on it earlier, guys, but it is pretty cool. So we can go all the way down the stairs here, and look at this. The door leading into the inky abyss, the same sort of uh, ink tunnel that Henry walks through every time he is reanimated throughout the game, every time he's revived after death at the Bendy statues. So we'll say goodbye to the studio. This is, of course, remember chapter one. We're going to head through here into the unknown, and we're going to find out what happens. So say goodbye to the studio. And into the light we go. And there you go. We have uh, started the chapter over with this really cool black and white classic cartoon colour filter. So of course we now look like the uh, sort of bendy cartoons from the 1930s era. It's, everything's black and white and sort of cell shaded looking and what's cool about this is it kind of adds I think to our theory that we are inside a cartoon world and Henry is being endlessly looped and reborn inside this cartoon world it's sort of more evidence of that my old desk. so yeah so that's pretty cool you can play through the entire game like this now I don't know if by playing through the entire game with this art style it then I don't know, basically unlocks a new ending or a new secret. I don't think it probably will. I think this is just a nice little treat for us. But as you can see, you can now go through the entire game like this, exploring everything in a new uh, sort of visual style. And I don't know if we can like go through. The... Should we try one more time, see if we can go through the trapdoor again? It's probably sealed again, I suspect now. Yeah, it's now sealed. We can't go through it again. So that's all there is really to uh, the secret, guys. We finally found what lies beneath that trap door, and it's pretty cool. So thank you for watching today, guys, and thank you very much for everybody who helped out with uh, making this video possible. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next video. And that's it for today's video. Please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, and general interest pop culture horror videos. So, if you're interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.